Yo, it's me, Nolazen, back here again in another video. Today I'm doing another performance review. We got Diamond 5 lobby of King of the Hill on Solitude. That's a fucking mouthful. Got AK Fury with me and two randoms. We're all on open mic. The way I record it, you can't hear them. But I'll let you know if this ain't anything important. So we're gonna hop straight into it. Off the rip, same problem I always have on Solitude. I never know to do with the opening play. I always like second guess everything I do. I hear AK Fury getting in this fight. I decide to dive in there and just get demolished. So horrible play. I got to figure out a better opening. So I just need to run customs on it for like an hour and figure something out. But that's neither here, nor there. neither here nor there. Words are hard. Hopping back into it. This first hill is always a... It's it's a battle. This, I think this is the hardest hill to get by far. Because there's just so many angles on top mid. You really... Oh my god, those shots. What am I doing with my life? Fortunately, AK Fury was able to save the day there. But this first hill, you really just got to dominate the slang. And this, you kind of just inch through it. Like, you're not going to get a fuck ton of time all at once. That dude missed a big snipe there. See a guy truck. I'm just going to try and dance up here with this QT. Just like that. Get us a little time. Just inching through it. Like... I, I don't know. I don't really have anything better to say. That's kind of been my strat for the opening hill in this. Is just one of your teammates gets QT, sets it on one side of the hill, and just kind of teleports back and forth, just staying alive as long as you can, while your other three teammates go for slays. I think a smarter play would be have one guy sit up like on nest right there, uh, and because he would have an angle down on the hill, while one guy does the QT dance and the other two roam and just go for kills. Guy barely missed my head. Like Odin was looking out for me right there, I guess. Right here, decent angle on the hill. I almost pushed it because of the tunnel vision. I caught myself though and decided to clear the angle, which is super big. Should be a big kill right there, but I got caught out in a 1v3 on accident. Almost naded myself. I'm just playing like a maniac right now. Oh, horrible play. I decided to chase that guy for some reason. I have no idea why. I could have just sat up on the hill and kept dancing for the time. I kind of gave him the hill for that. Fortunately, J2 was there to clean up that guy. Yeah, first hill's a mess. Maybe you could do one guy sitting in posters instead of sniper because you kind of got a good angle. You can see down, what's that called, market right there. And you can see up on uh, LR and up on ledge. Big jump out of this guy. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. We all whiffed the melees right there. I'm calling it out to my teammate to try and get them to nade it. He threw the nade. It was just a little late. He got him one shot again, which is pretty big. He might win that 1v2, honestly. He kind of went in there, big dick energy. I see the one shot down there. He QT'd right into my radical, so that worked out perfectly for me. Now, if I was smart, if I was playing right now, I'd hop up on ledge. Hey, what do you know? I'm smart. I did it. And just kind of, this is a decent angle. You got decent cover from like a third of the map. I see my teammates are both pushing up onto sniper to win that fight. So I was like, all right, I'll go get hill time. Plus, I got a cheeky kill on uh, truck right there. I don't think he knew I was up there. Scared that guy to dropping him the dip and was able to secure the hill. So that hill, by far, in my opinion, is the hardest. This second hill, I don't know what I'm going to do with this game, but a play I really like, looks like I might try and do it, is I have two teammates push up over to like that uh, A spawn and one team on the hill. And then I'd like to grab the sniper and sit back here behind truck. It looks like I'm about to do it, so I'll be able to explain it better. Especially if it's somebody who's actually good with a sniper on your team, unlike me. But I like to sit back here and truck because you got decent cover and you got a straight shot right into the hill if i wasn't trash that would have been an easy headshot so if you have a good sniper on your team maybe you can try and utilize that and i mean i got called out and melted but nine times out of ten it does work and if you're decent with the sniper it's easy headshots all day but yeah i like that play one dude just way back there one guy sitting up here in a just to lock the spawn one guy in the hill the third dude just kind of roaming between like glass to lr or whatever and now i like to sit back on truck with the sniper i feel like it's a decent setup obviously it didn't work this time because i missed the shot i'm just kind of playing my life i see my teammates getting naded so i decided to push out to prius Woo! okay i thought i was gonna choke that easy cleanup back to the hill just kind of inching through it no reason to get it all in one go like you can take a break to get some kills shouldn't have thrown that grenade i heard him coming i just didn't expect him to be there so quickly I'm just trying to stay alive i died but i did enough damage from our teammates this will come in and one shot him they're down three players right now so they can kind of just get easy all time here there's no way that guy wins a 1v3 right like i mean i guess he could but that'd be fucking insane and we still got this a spawn locked which is huge for this hill because you can just dive in it all day just have one guy dive in at a time while the other three slay easy shots on this guy their awareness is just like negative two right now they have no idea where they're getting hit from teammate went down big nade he fucked up ak fury and i shot ak fury AK Fury's death was almost on my hands. I mean, the nade did most of the damage. MGX, DN, is able to come in there and clean it up, though. If he was smart, he would back down right now and wait for reinforcements. No reason to die. Which it looks like that's what he did, so that's pretty big. I see them both fighting up over in the A area, so I decided to go through bottom mid for the flank. 
Because I assumed somebody would be down here, and there was. So that worked out perfectly. Let's see one more in Chuck. My teammates are already on the hillside. So I decided to chase this guy. No reason to let him play for information. Teammates finish the hill. I'm still chasing him. Like, by now, I probably should have given up the chase. But I'm committed to killing this guy. And then I miss all my shots and have to reload. So, <laughs> yeah. Should have backed down from this fight. Let's see if I run. Ah, missed my jump. I don't know how I'm alive. I do not deserve to be. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay, I'm finally dead. All of that was horrible. I wasted, like, 30 seconds right there chasing that kill. After I shot him on truck and he ran away, I should have been. All right, he's gone. So don't chase your kills. It generally leads to your death or at least wasting your time. Like I could have been helping the teammates on securing dip right there instead of chasing him for no fucking reason to go fight. I forgot to call out or up here. Not West Ramp is about to tell me. West Spawn? No way that's to call it. Whatever. Cafe. There we go. Easy kill there. Teammate called him out. I was able to melt him pretty quickly. I'm copying up in the window so I can look down into dip and I get the angle on ledge. That should have been an easy kill. I choked it. I don't know how my repulse didn't hit him, but we still got the kill. That's two dead. We're up three three players to two players right now. I hear the teammate shooting over, like, uh, dip ramp, I guess you could call that. I, I forget. The calls are escaping my mind right now. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry getting shot in the back, so I decided just to do a rotate. I had another teammate in the hill, so there's no reason for me to be in there, too. I don't think he expected the repulsor play up to him. It's clearly, he didn't. I was able to get the easiest melee of my life to finish him off. Got the QT just to kind of fuck with them. I have two teammates on the hill, and they called out. Can't hear it, like I said. They called out that they're over on Sniper. So that's why I went up to Sniper 3 to try and drop down him. That guy, really good play. None of us saw him. He just flanked through Cafe, down to Dip, into the hill. Really good for him. Looks like it didn't work out in the long run for him, so it's still a smart play. Honestly, at this point, I either need to go way faster or way slower. I'm kind of playing too mid right now. I either need to be super aggressive and just be annoying to the enemy team, like just go for kills, or just slow down and secure the hill. I'm kind of playing medium. Horrible kill. I mean, horrible death right there. I should have been a trade, but I was better. Fortunately, I'm not. <laughs> we're all kind of just getting picked off. The, one of my issues with King of the Hill is once we're up a lot, like we're almost at three hills, I start to play it like it's social, and I stop like thinking and just kind of go on autopilot. So I need to work on that. No more autopilots. I called him out, got the ping. He's one shot. Teammates should be able to clean him pretty easily. And now I'm diving hill. Should be able to wrap this up before the enemy team even spawns. They only have one guy alive right now. He's right there. Like I said, they'll wrap it up. If I die right now, who fucking cares? We already got the hill. Still got three teammates up. Easy one shot right there. So it's 3-3. I should spawn up before the enemy. Second now. I saw that guy truck on my teammate's death cam. I decide just to rush through LR towards the hill. I see J2 is fighting something. I just don't know where he's at. Choked my shots, but I was able to help a little J2 live because of that nade might fuck me up though, and it did. I was in a really bad spot. That postal ramp is so dangerous because it's just a nade alley. Try and avoid that area if you can. And honestly, enemy team had a really good push there. They took out our whole squad. Oh, everybody's on spawn now except for me. If I'm smart, I'll just chill, wait for my teammates to spawn. What looks like that's what I'm doing. I'm set up here in window, just playing for information, trying to see their general setup. From what I could tell, they don't have one. They're all just kind of sitting in the hill, which works out great for us because we can just fill it with grenades and then go in and clean up all the one shots. Really good nade out of this guy in LR. Oh my god, huge win out of me. I did not deserve that win. My shots were ass, but his shots were more ass, so that's big. Teammates pushing in through lift, AK Fury's pushing in through posters. I decided to get QT and go up to S3 just to get a different angle. Plus, I got easy shots on this guy on the truck. Ugly melee. Oh my god, choking, choking. Got him. <laughs> and now we just, we just play Team Slayer. Right here. There's one guy left. I popped my QT so I can start doing a little rotation. I was trying to jump up to S3, but I missed my clamber. Like I always fucking do for some reason. Decided to push back through glass just to try and see where they're coming from. I could be a little more risky of plays like that because of the QT. Because as soon as I got shot, as you see, I can just teleport back. This guy's fucking with me hard. What a good spot. No, that was really clever of him. I could not kill him. He was just wasting my time letting his teammates spawn. That was pretty big. Teammates getting fucked up on hills, so I QT back to it one last time. Looks like he did win his fight. Grabbing the sniper, because I want to be good with it. Even though I'm not. See if I hit the shot. Nope. See if I win the one if you won. Nah. Alright. So, all in all, I mean, there's not much to say. We 4 0 him, right? We destroyed him. But some pros and cons. Pros, we were all winning our fights. My shot was a little ass. Like, he's seen a couple fights I should have won that I didn't. But over under, we're all winning our fights. Like, they can't capture hills if they're all dead. We weren't desperate playing all that much. Like, we seen if they had four players up, we weren't really in the hill. We were at least killing one before we started touching the hill. So that's pretty good for pros. Cons, we could have pinged a little more. We were on open mic 
me, AK Fury, and one of the randoms. The other random was not an open mic, and he wasn't pinging. So maybe he couldn't hear us. We should have been pinging more for him, and then he should have been pinging more for us. So con, just communication, some type of pinging or open mic or something. But that's all for today. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something. Yeah, I'll be back again next Monday with another one of these new Halo videos every single day. I stream all the time. Catch you all next time. Nobles in here. I just wanted to say I appreciate y'all watching the video. I drop new content every single day, so consider leaving a subscription. Also, I'm live right here on YouTube five nights a week. Love to have you stop by and say what's up. That's all for today, and I'll catch you all next time.